YouTube, what's going on? Back with my most recent video. Just wanted to give you a quick video to show you guys my most recent pickups. These were all from Funko Shop. I was really excited to get these and really actually fortunate to get these as well um, because these pops did sell out relatively quickly and I was fortunate enough to get them into the collection. So let me guys show you guys these real fast and let me get your thoughts. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. Um, so these were all from Funko Shop, uh, two released at the same time, and this first one actually came up the week prior, I believe. Um, I've had this sitting in the cart, um, I was going to get it initially, and then I forgot for whatever reason. And uh, fortunately, it did not sell out, so I was able to um, acquire this the same time I got the other two pops. So this first pop right here is Woodsy the Owl. So this was a ad icon. Um, it's definitely one I had to have um, because it would fit right next to the Smokey the Bear that I have. Um, his old saying, the most famous saying he has, was uh, "Don't uh, give a hoot, don't pollute." And it looks like he changed the saying now to "Lend a hand." care for the land but I think this was a really cool pop it was released on Earth Day if I remember correctly so it makes you know complete sense for them to make uh, Woodsy the Owl uh, for Earth Day and uh, like I said he's gonna go right next to Smokey the Bear in my collection I think that Funko did a good job on this one um, the reason why I say that is because most times when they do the first ad icon it's normally like the regular um, or like no non-flock, non-metallic, nothing at all. And then later on, they'll release an exclusive somewhere in the store or something like that. Um, but fortunately, the exclusive, the Funko Shop exclusive, is the flocked one for this time. So it kind of saves me some money because I don't see myself buying a common version of Woodsy Owl. I don't really need one. The flock is the one I would prefer over all the others. And uh, the execution on it was really, you know, well done. Uh, the flock on it looks really amazing. And uh, I, for whatever reason, always collect the Earth Day Pops. I'm not a huge uh, Save the Earth guy, but I have almost all the Earth Day Pops in my collection, um, which is pretty nice. You know, the only thing that I think they could have done differently is the same thing they did with the Wally um, Disney Pops and uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy and make him into uh, have the, the box be cardboard, you know, buy the gradable or whatever. Um, not sure why they didn't do it with this one, just because they did it with all the others. Um, but nonetheless, dope pop. I'm glad I got it and it didn't sell out and I think he's actually still available so if anybody's interested definitely one I would suggest especially if you're at icon collector it's a must have for your collection but the two pops I got that I was extremely excited to get um, I've been looking for these two for a very very long time I think I've made videos in the past as well as far as like uh, what pops I wanted Funko to make in the future and I'm pretty sure I asked for both of these multiple times so Really happy that Funko decided to make these. And without further ado, let me show you guys these two pops. So the first pop I have to show you guys is Johnny Bravo. So I grew up watching this show. I know most people probably in my age grew up watching this show on Cartoon Network. Um, Johnny Bravo was hilarious to me. Um, he was always trying to get all the girls and never got any. Um, I don't think he ever got a, a girlfriend at all. Um, I just think that they did a really good job with this. It looks like just like the uh, pose Johnny would have done in the cartoon. And really happy to see that they're finally doing something more of these Cartoon Network shows. You know, I grew up watching Cartoon Network and uh, Nickelodeon as a kid. And uh, it just seems like they haven't made so many of these cartoons. And there's so much more they can tap into. And I think they would all sell out instantly just like this one did. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to ever take this one out of the box. I actually was going to buy two. And because the limit was on two on these, I was gonna buy two and then, uh, you know, keep one in the, out of the box, have a Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network display over there and keep one in the box. And um, I thought the same thing about the Owl. I didn't think it was gonna sell out at all. So I just grabbed, you know, one round. I was gonna buy another round next time Funko dropped something and they sold out completely. So uh, I was fortunate enough that I got them at, at all. And uh, yeah, this one looks really, really nice. Um, hopefully in the future they make some more from this movie or from the show. You know, they can make Mama, uh, Carl, his friend, um, or that annoying little girl. I think her name was uh, Susie. Um, but yeah, then Johnny is the one you had to start off with. And uh, it's a really, really nice one. And uh, yeah, glad to have this one in the collection. 
And the one that I was most excited about, you guys already probably know what it is if you were at all trying to get these two pops on that same day. It's kind of crazy that Funko dropped them both at the same time, um, just because you know either one could stand on their own for a release, but they decided to drop the bomb on us all at once. And that pop is Dexter. This pop looks amazing to me. Uh, I think out of the two, this is probably my favorite. Um, I like the show better, but I think the pop is just really, really well executed. Uh, I'm not gonna take out the box, but as you guys can see in the glam, he also has the uh, wrench in his hand um, that he was always seen using to fix up his inventions and machines in his laboratory, his laboratory. Um, but this one I've been asking for Funko to make for a very, very long time. Hopefully they're listening to these videos and uh, taking my suggestions. Um, you know, maybe we'll see some more cool things like this. Um, definitely would like to see a Mandark uh, pop in the future. Dee Dee as well. Um, you know, and maybe those um, the superheroes, I forget what they were called, but they were on Dexter and um, Pop of Girls as well. Um, and then Monkey, the superhero, and then what's it, Action League, Justice League, something like that. Um, drop down in the comment section below if you know, but if they made those into uh, Fungo Pops, I think that'd be a really, really good idea and really dope. Um, but this Dexter is an extremely, extremely nice looking pop. Um, I'm kind of upset that I wasn't able to double up on both of these just because I think they're uh, extremely nice. They're going for a you know, pretty penny now, which is uh, not ex unexpected at all. And uh, this is one of my favorite pops in my collection at this point and probably one of my uh, top pops of this year so far. So yeah, uh, just a quick video. Just wanted to show you guys what came in the mail. Um, not much more I gotta show you guys. I have a lot more coming in, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you've not already checked it out, I do have a giveaway going on right now for 7,000 subscribers. I'll put an info card up there so you guys can check it out if you've not already entered to win a free Funko Pop. Um, and just wanted to you know, give back to you guys. Thank you so much for the support you guys give me in growing this channel and staying tuned into uh, you know, my habits and you know, my Funko collecting. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've not already, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you're not already subscribed or follow me on Instagram, check me out on The Pop Savage on there as well so you can stay connected to what I post on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.